Hey, welcome to another vocal analysis here at Voice Essentials, and and we are we are about to listen to a, a complete reworking of a classic. <laughs> the song we're about to listen to is "Can't Help Falling in Love," which which was originally covered by Elvis, and apart from you know, that we hear the melody, and apart from the name of the song, this this is a completely re- reworked version. This is being sung, of course, by none other than uh, Diana Ankudinova. I, I, I'm, I'm terrible at pronouncing the last name. I'm so sorry. Um, but, and maybe even the first name. This is, this is really, it's so different. And um, and it's beautifully arranged, and she does a lovely job of building it. Let's let's dive straight in. This is a very short performance. It's for a, and in fact, you can clarify in the the the, the comments section below. Let me know a bit more about the context of this performance. I think it's a bit of a a bit of a TV TV talent show kind of deal. I could be wrong. It's only been uploaded a couple of years ago um, to YouTube, so let's have a watch. You write your comments, let let us know about the context of the performance in the comments section. You know, I'm not a historian, I'm I'm not a musicologist, I'm a singing voice specialist, and so I do I do rely quite heavily on all of you um, who are big fans of each of these artists to to give us the intricacies around each performance, you know, the, the historical notes that we all um, really value. Uh, but let's jump in and talk about the voice, the singing, because there's a lot to, lot to unpack here. Here we go. It's such an unexpected sound. <laughs> it's so low, and it's a real celebration of low voice. I think it's wonderful because we we certainly in Western music, Western contemporary music, a voice this low we don't get to hear very often, and so when we do, it's such a delight to to get this low. She's really having to create. I think there's quite a bit of a lowering of the of the vocal of the of the larynx to create that sort of fi fi fo really low sound that can be quite taxing on the voice and you know the, it, the voice is not going to be overly taxed in in this particular performance because it's only about it's not even three minutes uh, of singing but it's something for us to be aware of. Um, it's just such a lovely low tone. Only That's cool. So we've had this really low stuff, but she's not restricted to singing low. I think as singers, we can become so captivated on what we're kind of known for that we spend all our time just doing that. You don't want to be a one trick pony as a singer. You want to be able to give people a variety and that's what we get there, right? She starts down really low and then suddenly she pops up an octave to, to really give us a, light, a lighter version of her. It's still a low voice singing high, but it creates that contrast and that's fantastic. Let's have a listen to the entrance of that. Stay low. It's 
very cleverly arranged. Is she a judge? I'm not sure. She's certainly not just one of the normal, one of the everyday um, audience members. She's actually someone in particular. You can let me know who she is. <laughs> She's like, what, what is going on here? What kind of sound is this? Uh, <laughs> sorry. That, I just love that. I love seeing people's reactions. It's so good. Here we go. How beautiful is the staging? Fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> she builds the body. Let's acknowledge the shape of the lip there. I know this is very vocal nerdy, but that ooh, to really enhance that vowel, you have to bring the lips forward. You want to have a good round shape to the, to the lip to really enhance that vowel, and she does. She really shapes that ooh. Vocal ad living. Now, can I just see see the amount of air now coming up at her? There's obviously fans in the in the um, staging that are directing air to you know to give us that sort of really fantastic, ethereal kind of feel. I have had the opportunity to perform in scenarios where <laughs> it wasn't because we wanted to have my hair blowing, but it was designed to give that sense of um, atmosphere where the, we had these fans blowing. It's not easy to sing because, remember, your airflow is going this way as a singer. You are creating air pressure to come out of the vo out of the vocal tract at a consistent rate. When you have an opposing force of air traveling back at you, you have to adjust. It's slight, but it, in this instance, it's enough. If you get it wrong, it's, it's not going to end well. She doesn't get it wrong. She is able to keep and maintain her airflow against the opposing force of airflow back at her. It's something that if you... If you'd never had opportunity to be in that scenario to do as a singer, you have no idea that that's actually a challenge. But it is. That's not a small amount of air coming at her. I love the way she I love the way she's actually positioned there. She actually doesn't find herself getting higher and higher and higher like this. In this instance, she's actually moving down. She engages her core, she activates the lower support structure of her body, and she bends into it. If you've done my online courses or you've been one of my private students, you know how much work we do on activating core, engaging lower support structure to keep this free. Watch the way she positions her body alignment. From the 
from the centre. She keeps it dynamic. I love it. Just so much intensity. And and the audience has responded accordingly. They've they've gone, yeah, standing ovation. That that is definitely, you know, the credit needs to go to the singer. I want to also give some credit to the arrangement because the arrangement whoever has skillfully orchestrated this, it's built so well in layers that you get to that climatic point and, and the intensity of emotion for the audience has been brought to this oh, release, and, uh, and that's really good. But as we pointed out throughout the analysis, there are so many things that she's doing well to really enhance that arrangement, to get the most out of it, and it's to her credit. Thank you once again for recommending that we review that video and uh, that performance of Deanna, D Diana, um, I'm, I don't know, someone spell it out for me in, in uh, you know, in phonetics uh, below. <laughs> for future videos, I'll try to make sure I get it right. I do, uh, do, do do these analyses videos every week, and so we'd love for you to subscribe and, uh, and join us uh, as we learn more about not just, you know, looking at it and going, wow, they're amazing. Why are they amazing? What are they doing that actually makes their performance as good as it is? And uh, that's what we do here at Voice Essentials because we're an educational channel. I like to think it's, it's entertaining as we go along, but we're primarily here about teaching people to sing. And so uh, I hope you'll join us. Uh, we'll see you again in the next vocal analysis video, hopefully. I'm Dr. Dan. Sing well.